<laughs> well, good morning. I'm back outside. What a beautiful day today God has given us, and it is so beautiful out here today. Blue skies, not a cloud. The birds are singing, rejoicing in the Lord, and that's the way we should be today. A song in our heart, a praise upon our lips for the Lord, and basking in His joy and His mercy and grace. And that's what I want to talk about this morning in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 7, 8, and 9. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye loved, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even this salvation of your souls. If you look over in Psalms chapter 16, verse 11, it says here, you will make known to me, the psalmist is saying, Christ, you will make known unto me the way of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. In your right hand, there are pleasures forever. Folks, today, we can find happiness from time to time in this life and in this world, but you know what? Our happiness is upon, depends upon circumstances around us. But the joy that lasts forever, the joy that the Word of God says is unspeakable and full of glory is the joy that is found in serving the Lord. And I know that today. God considers the faith of His believers today. Think about this now. Peter, and Paul, James, and John, and all them boys, they, they were around Christ, they were near Him all the time, they saw the miracles, and they knew He was the Christ. But they saw Him, they touched Him, they had Him speaking to them right there in their presence. But it says, God considers the faith of believers today as greater than those who knew Jesus in the beginning. They saw Him, they knew Him personally. You and I have never seen Christ. We have never held His hand. We have heard him speak to us through the spirit but we've never been in his presence personal eye to eye one day we will but today he says our faith is even stronger than those boys back then he said here believers now although they've never seen him they love him and they believe in him and according to Jesus there is a special blessing for those who it says have not seen yet have believed in John 20 29 so today if you want true joy, if you want true happiness, I should tell you how to get it. Give your heart and life to God. Let Him cleanse you of your sins. Release that burden of guilt off of you. Yes, you'll still have trials and troubles to come your way. And sometimes you won't have a happy day. Things will be kind of down. But you know what? Deep inside in, in that heart of yours and in that spirit will be a joy that is unchangeable, a joy that is unspeakable, a joy is that for real and we can still go through life rejoicing in the goodness of God. Folks, one day we're going to leave this old world behind and God's going to burn it up. And he's going to create a new heaven and a new earth for those who love him. But from now to then, we have a joy in us that is unspeakable. Think about it. It is even hard to describe it. In our life of faith, we are given joy as God's gift to us. Child of God, keep that fire burning within us. Keep that joy going that is within us. And let the light of Christ go forth and shine brightly to those that we meet. And sinner friend, if you want to rejoice, you want to be happy, you want to have that joy that comes from only one place, and that is from Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, I suggest and tell you, give your heart to God today. And He will fill that emptiness that's in there right now that you're trying to fill with anything that you can find in this world, he will fill it with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Praise the Lord this morning. I pray today you will come to know him as your Lord and Savior. Lord, we thank you today for this joy that is spoke about in the word of God. Lord, we know today the true joy, true happiness only comes from one source and that is you. And it comes when we surrender our life to you ask for cleansing of our sins, and Lord, we begin to serve you, even through thick and thin trials and troubles, when the sun is shining, when the clouds are gray. 
we have joy unspeakable and full of glory. Thank you for that today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Folks, have a blessed day today in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and keep that joy within your soul.